Hello, hello. I had a request from Lenny, someone who's been commenting on almost every video for like a year and very active. Maybe not, maybe even the person that had the idea for me to start the Discord in the first place. They want free runner, no seed, clear you, with a specific set of challenges. It was FEMA, Pharma, Baron, basically taking off all the healing, but the enemies, we don't have the stronger enemies in, so I'll give this a shot. I usually don't do this type of stuff. I'm going to do requests, but for the most part, I'm focused on getting my little six challenge thing beat. I don't mind taking a little digression because we're on 2.3 now, so I'm kind of curious in seeing the new quest and stuff as well. But I don't usually do FEMA, the Faith is My Armor, because I just feel like it constricts your build so much, especially FEMA with Pharma. So no healing, no armor. Like, you know, Lynn, I'm going to do my best here. But to be honest, I may just die. And that's kind of how nine challenges go. And that's why I'm not a huge fan of the nine challenges because you potentially just die until you get a build that allows you to avoid taking any damage. So usually some form of haste or some form of consistent range damage. So I don't find that to be very engaging gameplay like, you know, Rinse and repeat until you get lucky and find the right build. Six challenges, on the other hand, I kind of think are perfect. The easy six challenges, I, I mean to say. You're coming, right? It, it, it lost track of where I was, and now it's going to get a free hit on me? Where'd you go? You're way up there? No, come back here. Oh, I missed. <laughs> At least it doesn't use durability, does it? If you miss, no, you actually have to hit an enemy. Okay, so note to cells, we got a jade potion here. Still chasing that rat down. Here's one. Yeah, so like sentinels aren't on and into darkness isn't on. So like, and champions isn't on. So a lot of the things that would make it a lot harder are off. So if we step up here, it'll, it'll still be, we'll still be further away. Yeah, I just didn't know if I'd be able to hit the trap from down that direction. So I wanted to step up. We always go for armor. Oh, you know what? You know what isn't on though is um, on diet. So we'll get most of our healing, almost all of our healing from regain effects, just from our food. So as long as we can avoid damage, we will be okay. Um, identify could be good to help figure out what this other stuff is. And since healing potions are not in, I'm not as concerned about getting those. So maybe I skip them. We'll just get all these scrolls. And what is in here? Let's find out. This is a garden. Oh, I mean, these usually drop armor, right? Might as well just skip it. Let's see here. If we go here, it's going to spawn two. And we could just like go invisible and run away indoor. And we could just then trigger traps. I'm going to do it because it's going to be fun. So I always get a free turn. They don't hit you yet, but they'll hit me next turn. So I'll use that turn to go invisible. Oh, geez. Look at them strafing, like keeping perfect tempo with me. But at least we can get the surprise attack here. Can I hit you with a dagger? Oh, I could have, but I dodged. Oh, okay. Let's get it through this door, I guess. Yeah, so like I thought, this arm, we're not even going to really be able to use it. So, I mean, it is a minor upgrade, but it's not the best. But Faith is my armor on, you know? Okay, so quick note to selves. On the first floor, we got ourselves a Jade Potion. And these we got out of the chest room, right? And Burkhanen, I think we got off the ground. So, potential that these are strength or upgrade. Potential. Not guaranteed. The gnolls, I wonder if I want to start using my dagger charges for gnolls. Probably do. But another option, just let them sleep, except I want that food. So, okay, come on then. Beyonce. Beyonce Noel, get it? Stupid. I think that a lot though. It's a stupid joke that I've probably said a couple times. And I still think about it. I'll just kill the rat, right? Go invisible, let it come to me. I kind of like this, those floating numbers. It's kind of cool. If there was an option to turn them on or off, I'm not sure if I would, what I would do yet. So we're going to have another hidden door somewhere around here. 
I love how big the rogue can search. Let's try this. There it is. Oh, it's food. Beautiful. But no sense as barren land, no um bland fruit bush. So buckles on the top, that means it's a mimic. Sure is, nice. Getting used to doing that instead. It's a little quicker than constantly like identifying them. Turquoise, huh? Jade silver, turquoise. Frozen trap, okay. Mimics, I kind of like to avoid until I know I'm very gonna be very strong. So the snake, we could just like insta kill the snake there. Maybe we can get a shot on Beyonce. Yeah, gotcha. Trying to get the rats gonna be in the way. And I almost feel like being a little extra here. We can take extra time and like get these extra surprise attacks because on diet is not on, so kind of goes to show how strong that challenge is. Like that's that's actually a pretty tough one. You have to change your whole game style. Like I think that's really what started the whole bonking thing. You know, you go to the boss floor and you you die on purpose to starvation and you use your onk to uh heal you back up. I guess I go for the extra hit here and I guess I should eat food a little bit earlier. Since that's my only form of healing, so just keep me topped off. I often end runs with a lot of extra food anyway, so. Alright, so what's going on here? I says, no way that's upgrade because we got it out of the special room, so. So first floor and then second floor, these ones. Okay. It's just a garden. So barren lands, there's no dew drop, so no point in stamping over all the grass. Come on down. I saw that door flicker. Something's up there. Okay, so. Well, one of these is going to be the uh, purity to help us get through this trap room. If it's not barren lands, we don't. Usually we want to save those and turn them into the uh, their exotic forms. Cleansing. Because it removes the hunger. It's pretty broken. So let's go ahead and just drink some. Whatever. Could be strength. What is this? Poisoned? Oh. <laughs> so that was. That was a poison one, huh? Toxic gas. I've never drinking one of those. Oh, no, 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 no. That was a healing potion. That's why we're poisoned. Oh, because we have pharmacopion. That's right. Forgot about that. Now, though, if we can drink a... This might have worked out perfectly, though, because now if we drink a purity potion, we'll like, get rid of the poison. Tell me it does. It does not. Oh, no. Are we dead? I don't have any other way to heal. No, okay, it didn't last that long. Purity should have taken, should have removed that though. Come on. It counteracts poison. So before the snake gets its dodgy mode on, let's try and take it off with the take it out with the dagger quick. Well, at least we know what healing potion is. So with pharmacopion, healing potions are useful. Um or uh, putting out fires. That part's pretty nice. So for this guy, we only have two dagger shots. We have three cloak charges. So that might be good enough. Let's go ahead and, I don't know, maybe we get it to freeze like right in front of us and then we can get a couple free hits on. Of course, doing damage does break freezes. That's chilled. I'll throw some daggers out of here. One dagger, a two dagger. Go invisible here. Step through the door. Another surprise attack. Invisible again. So far we haven't taken any damage. It's nice. Alright. Good. And we got a short sword. And we know it's not cursed. Beautiful. Love that. So we just need to get our strength kicking. So um, one of these got to be strength, right? I kind of feel like drinking it just for the, for the boost. Sit in the water. In case it's something. So Jay, I'm gonna say we got the strength from the first floor. Ready, guess, go. We did not. <laughs> but I mean frost potion's not so bad. So your strength. Yep, sure is. Well that counts as a surprise attack. Nice. 
So we know that strength because the rules of the dungeon are is you get one strength potion the first two floors of every new region. So if it wasn't strength, then that would mean that we uh, just didn't find it. We lost it somewhere. So I'm actually really hoping to find the second one so we can get this short sword equipped as soon as possible because if you know floor three, you know we're going to start fighting some crabs. And if you know anything about crabs, that sounds wrong. There is beautiful. You know they're run enders. Especially when you have zero armor. So let's get this short sword going. And if it was plus one, that would just be amazing. Um, okay, let's go. I often just go through the nearest door. Yeah, not um, let's see here. On diet off and into darkness off is actually kind of nice. It makes these other harder challenges a little more palatable. Oh, come on. Why are you dodging? Put your dodging. Okay, ghost. Third floor ghost, really bad. That's the null trickster. Oh, what? Oh, no. What color was that? That was jade, right? Potion of frost. So now I may not be able to get through a trap. There may be a frost potion room here with a key behind it. Um, What did I do? What was I doing? I just wasn't paying attention. I was using the keyboard, I think. Whatever. Is what it is. I hope there's not a frost potion room. I hope that was just an extra. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, snake. I'm sorry. There you go. Yeah, what a what a mix up that was. Hopefully it doesn't backfire and hurt me too much. Just out of the corner of my eye that looked like a jade potion. Okay, here's a crab. Uh just dagger, I guess. Run away. So it's gonna move two. So here, I think we get it right at the door. Surprise attack, beautiful. Nice, love it. Yep, we needed that. We needed that frost potion. Verkanen back there, that's probably upgrade. So what do we do? Um, come. Do we have to come back? Do we have to craft one? What else works? There's other things that work for these. Um, I think actually purity potion works because it's a cursed fire. Then some magical fire. Oh, so we really bonked that up. And look, he yeah, had two pieces of food, probably our upgrade scroll for Conan. Well, that's so. Come on, guys, wake up. Let's go invisible there because I just hate missing. But not a good idea when we have these, uh, you know, crabs coming at us soon. So. Okay, leveling up. Um, I do like ex a little extra damage here. I usually just do one point on that. No, don't jump down. Well, I guess the good thing about losing a frost potion is I do... They seems to be one of the more common potions, so... Hopefully we get lucky there. Get this guy. That was bad. We get a free kill. Okay, what am I doing? We can get by this guy. I was thinking like, oh, let's have it split more? Let's get past him. Because my old brain wants to farm healing potions. Oh yeah, and even like right there, I was thinking don't let the healing potion fall down the chasm. Yeah, we don't need to take healing potions. They're, in fact, they're toxic. Oh, you see the little one with the starving emblem next to it? I'm going to eat some food because it's our only form of healing. So let's stay on top of it. Okay, we'll go treasure chest for sure. Unless that's frost, I should have double checked. But come on, Wanda Frost. Sandals of nature at the on die with the Barren Lands challenge on. Actually, that one of the only ways you can still proc the seed um, effect. So not actually that bad. Magic Mapine, ride you. Lagoos, okay, well. Here we go, we'll get hit up the ghost quest now. 
there's a crab. Run away. <laughs> Run away. So you just fight it here. That short sword, definitely a boon though. Really coming in handy. Oh, it's plus one. I oh, love that. That could be a, a game changer for us right there. Okay, fight the ghost. I mean, the uh, do the ghost quest, fight the old trickster. What I'd like to do with this, it's kind of tough when you're making a video, but normally what I'm playing is I'll zoom out a bunch and I'll watch these, uh, I'll watch these doors. You can also go into your options here and it's the camera follow intensity. If you turn that off or down to low, notice how I'm zoomed up here, but when I move, the camera comes back. It, it won't, there's that door moved. It won't um, move the camera back. So you can like move around and still monitor doors from other areas. But I had someone ask me if I could turn that off, please. I think it's there. That door just opened. Let's see if it counterattacks. Yeah, it does, and it poisons me. Hopefully it pursues. If that door opens, I'm in trouble. Okay, great. So hopefully we get it in a little bug. So it could either come this way or it could go back to that door. So sometimes you get lucky and it'll come through the door over and over again and get this stuck in this little loop. I haven't seen the door open yet. There we go, nice. Yeah, perfect. I had me right by the ghost. Okay. Since, since faith is my armor on, the armor's not going to help us so much anyways. Maybe we'll just go for the sword then. Maybe it'll be plus two. Do, 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 do. Beautiful. I think, honestly, we could go all in on that. Uh, it's just, it's not going to one-shot things forever is, is the problem. Oh, we got some some spears too. Nice. Called fishing spears, but we might as well call them crabbing spears. That's what it's going to do for us. Kill tons of crabs. Okay, well, I'm still missing that frost potion. So let's remember to get back to floor four. I mean, floor three. Speaking of crabs, here's one now. Definitely use everything I have on them. And the durability on these spears is 10. So I think it's worth to soften these guys up a little bit here. Who's there? Nobody. Great. And then the other request was to make this a free runner build, which of course is the best for Faith is my armor. When I have it any other way. But the tricky part is going to be beating Tengu. So the time I did nine challenges, the trick for Tengu was to, that should be a surprise deck, right? Yeah, when you go diagonal was to make a bunch of potions, um, in particular, the potion of Shrouding Fog is basically the game winner for that one. I think we just want to fight you. That basically tri trivializes the first phase and the second phase is a little bit easier. Ooh, this is really good. It's going to allow me to try on some things, and if they're cursed, I can remove the curse. I think even if I was to fill up the water skin and drink it, I'm pretty sure it's still poison, so I'm not even going to mess with that. Oh, doll. Look at all these creatures. Go away. Get out of here. So you don't do extra damage against the slimes, unfortunately, but still guaranteed to hit, so I don't mind going invisible there. Okay, potion of healing. I wish I could pick it up, though, just to um, make some inventory space here. Oh, beautiful. We also have a... Uh, you know what? One thing with Faith is my armor is using the Arcane Siluses early because it's not like we're saving them for some stronger armor later. Not to say that a little bit stronger armor is, is a bad thing, because you still actually get a little bit. Oh nice, we got the crab blocked behind it. It's still a little bit better, like this is 0 to 2, and that's 0 to 3, so it's a little bit better. Not a lot though. Anyways, we're going to have to make some inventory space here soon. Oh boy. Ooh, that was a big hit. I'm grateful for that hit for sure. Frost potion, come on. Nope. And that looks like our third we're conning. So we definitely are pretty confident that that's going to be our upgrade scroll. 
and X. Uh, no thanks. I like my plus one. You as well. You as well for sure. I'm just making inventory space here. On diet is on diet challenge is not on, so I'm not too concerned. Should we which one should we go for? We'll go for thief's intuition here. So I'm not too concerned about wasting time. You know, like going up and down stairs extra, just doing extra stuff. Don't mind it. Ah, I had a fishing spear hidden behind there. Good, I'm glad I went and picked it up. One thing we can do, though, is turn the... Turn the healing potions into shielding potions, right? I'm pretty sure since that's not healing, you still get a shield. I'm pretty sure this works. We will do, we will find out for science. If it doesn't work, well, I'll find out. So Verkan is our upgrade, right? Almost certain. We can turn on the other ones into a blink stone, so that'll give us some space. Because we know we definitely have more than one of the upgrades. Oh, that was our remove curse. Thanks. So it's a toss up between the, these two. I forget what was in that frost post trap room, so I'm not going to do that one. I'll just be just be extra safe there. Yingavi, what you deep sleep already. And then, of course, we want to do our meat pie. Um, we're going to need some energy. This one we want to save for sure. Those are we want two of those are good to have as well. I'm gonna use one of these. One of these. Good enough. Right, anything else we should make while we're here? Not sure. I think we're good. Let's throw this away. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, frost potion. Frost potion, why? Maybe the uh, merchant will have one. I can come back and get it. I'll probably do that outside of the video. No need to watch me run around and do all this backtracking and stuff. So another thing we can do is when I have a healing potion like that, I actually like to grind a little bit. Enjoy to level up, get a little experience, and then when I'm low on health and starving like I am already, then I'll go and step into it. Does a fly still give me experience? Let's find out. Oh, bam. Spike here. I may go ahead and step into it now because I don't want to get too low. I didn't even get experience from the fly. Okay. I think I get experience from you. Yeah, two. Oh, yeah, that's good enough. So what we'll do is we'll try some stuff on. Ten of nature. It was indeed cursed. Good. I'm glad I saved the healing well. Wait, does the healing well with work with FEMA? Oh, man. I hope so. We will find out, won't we? Let's find out. Okay, it works. Beautiful. Gets that curse off. And I believe we just go fight the goo. And move on. So with goo, I am actually tempted to like eat this meat pie so we have the extra regain because one thing I often end up doing is using that natural regain regain to heal. And that's a fancy way of saying I just run in a circle a bunch of times <laughs> and goo chases me around. Okay, let's find a place to fight before we engage, yeah? Because you know Goo's right in the middle down there. Can we sneak through? We can. Okay. Talent points. Not all quite spent. We don't need this one. I do like the ring. That one's pretty fun. Hello, Goo. I see you. Oh, hello, Wrecking. I'm going to say we're not going to die. So, this is not a waste of time. One thing with the rogue, though, is we could just, like, skip a bunch of enemies, too, if it's looking bad. Okay, I usually do end up fighting in these kind of areas. Um, of course, with the wall, it's not good. Well, I guess we just probably fight here and dodge around here. We've got this water, this water here for the caustic. Sure. Alrighty, we'll just do that. Hello, Goo, wake up. Wake up, please. Thank you. And follow me this way. Let me escort you to the arena. So, we'll just fight here, because now we can dodge around that corner. When it charges up. Of course, if I get caustic, I'm a little boned. I gotta go down there and then up. 
you know what? The first couple charges, I use the cloak to break it anyways. So I might as well fight a little closer to the to the water. That's one less turn I have to spend walking to it. Yeah, so I'll just uh you know what batter bosses are not on? I almost always play like they are. So it means I could actually get a free hit here because it's a double charge. Yeah, I forget about that. There we go. Okay, great. Take zero damage from ooze from the goo boss. And then let's check out real quick here. I want to see if there's maybe there's a frost potion for sale. I try to look at the ground behind the door and see if I can see which one's the merchant. It's usually it's the one with these tiles. So it's green, right? Okay, we'll have to go buy that. Well, great, fantastic. That was pretty painless sewers. Um, let's hope we can keep it going in the prisons. And until then, rat punchers punch on. Well, if you want to play along, here's the seed. Alrighty, cheers.